In addition to the testing conducted in the field and the lab, the Equipment Specifications Team conducted research at the International Training and Research Center utilizing USBC's automated ball-throwing robot EARL to better understand the performance implications of hardness variation in urethane bowling balls. For the first test, three samples of the two most popular urethane balls currently on the market were chosen and put through a series of tests to determine how use impacts the hardness of the balls, as well as how the resulting change in hardness affects bowling ball performance. The same testing process was used for both bowling balls. Testing showed that the first ball softened by 1.4 points after 10 shots and by 3.8 points after 190 shots. The second ball softened by 3.4 points after 10 shots and 7.1 points after 190 shots. To measure the impact on performance, the two bowling ball types were evaluated on ball path shape, overall hook, and entry angle throughout the tests. This chart shows the average ball path shape for all three samples of ball A. If we compare the ball path shape of the first and sixth sets, we see little difference despite the 3.8 points of hardness lost. Ball B showed similar results. Comparing the ball path averages for the first and sixth sets for this ball, we see that the average paths were about one board different at the breakpoint and returned to the same position at the pins. If we examine the difference in sets two and six, we find that they were thrown on more similar lines, and there is very little difference as exhibited with urethane ball A. So, even with the 7.1 point drop in hardness over use with this urethane model, there is still very little difference in ball path shape performance. In terms of total hook and entry angle, there were also minimal differences relating to the reduction in hardness over time. Both measurements remain similar throughout the testing, and the slight variations relate more closely to the angle of attack on the pattern rather than the observed loss in hardness. Just like the testing showed with urethane ball A, the difference in hardness measurements for urethane ball B did not correlate to differences in total hook or entry angle. For the second test, USBC looked at two otherwise identical urethane balls of the same model, but with very different hardness readings out of the box. The first ball measured 78.6 and the second 73.4. Earl's testing parameters remain the same for this test as they were for test one. But for this test, Earl threw seven series of six shots in an A, B, B, A, A, B fashion. The results of this test were much different, with the average ball paths of the softer ball showing a three board difference over the harder ball and a 0.7 degree increase in entry angle. The next and final test involved investigating the change in hardness, footprint, and total hook related to chemically altering bowling balls of different types, including urethane, reactive, and polyester models by soaking them in methyl ethyl ketone, or MEK. The hardness and performance tests showed that after soaking in MEK, urethane balls softened more than polyester and reactive balls. Their footprint which is defined as the area that contacts the lane, also increased the most of any ball type. One urethane ball sample also showed a greater increase in hook compared to polyester and reactive balls after soaking for two hours. Reactive balls were the least impacted, and they actually returned to their original hardness or got harder over time after soaking. These are important findings which illustrate conclusively that USBC does not have data to justify removing bowling balls from competition due to hardness changes from ordinary use. Field testing to determine whether bowling balls are below a hardness number also does not provide enough information to know if a given ball creates an advantage, as it is necessary to know what caused the ball to reach the hardness number. Ordinary use is minimally impactful while a ball manufactured below specification or altered has an advantage. USBC equipment specifications are designed to set boundaries on the manufacturing of bowling equipment. USBC rules also prohibit tampering with approved products. Therefore, USBC believes 
proper governance is currently in place on this topic.